Today is my last day in Hawaii. Finally, gonna, gonna try to do some snorkeling. I've been failing the last few days, but today, hopefully gonna get it right. And for breakfast, gonna go with something healthy. A uh, acai bowl, a kaya bowl, whatever this fruit bowl, nutritious thing that supposedly was created in Hawaii. Also, I want some pineapples. First stop, Hawaiian Crown Plantation. That coconut somehow looks like a bunny. This is the uh, acai bowl. It looks like it has bananas, pineapple, blueberries. Uh, I, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like minced garlic. <laughs> I hope that's not what it is. And little pieces of uh, coffee bean. I'm gonna dig in and there's a acai smoothie on the bottom and you see granola. This is definitely the healthiest thing I've eaten so far on this island. It's kind of like eating shaved ice with a lot of fresh fruit on top and granola. Actually not bad, it's really good. If this is healthy, I can live with this. Also, I got some freshly cut pineapple. Wow, that's very pineapple-y. Really sweet, super juicy, like super sweet, and super juicy. It's really easy to chew. So I didn't realize my hotel is the host of the Mac Daddy Pancake Challenge. So this little, this was the one on Man vs. Food. Came in here, took down a five pound pancake. And this is the wall of fame here. That might be the biggest Walgreens in the world. I mean, it's like, looks like two stories. Looks like that whole building is a Walgreens. Parachute army guy just fell from this building. That was pretty enjoyable, I gotta admit. There's a reason um, why I never snorkeled before, and the reason is, I feel like when I'm in the ocean, or any human beings in the ocean, you are literally at everything else's mercy. Any sea creature, if they wanted to, could potentially come and end your life. Now, is that true? Probably not, but that's just how I feel. Also, I, I kind of have a phobia of sharks. Like, when I was underwater the whole time, I was kind of practicing my punch just in case a shark came up to me. Gonna whack it on the nose. So all the fears aside, that was just a remarkable experience. It's kind of like looking at a whole different world underwater. My last meal in Hawaii, I've been walking past this place every single day on my way to the hotel. And this is a barbecue place. They open at seven o'clock in the morning. That's my kind of place. I'm not loving the broccoli set of things, but all the other stuff looks really good. This is my breakfast, um, gobby short ribs. And then I got barbecue beef on the bottom. This is the kind of breakfast I like. I love how they grill this on the spot. I love the char. I love the sweet and savory flavor. Let's try the barbecue beef. Mmm. That is tender. Same sweet and savory flavor as the kalbi. I'm glad this was my last breakfast on the island. Although, um, it's quite pretty expensive. This plate was about $17. Nice little hole in the wall place. Definitely not cheap. Just landed at San Jose Airport, but last minute change, I'm not going home. See you guys in New York City. Since this was such a last minute trip to New York, I only had whatever clothes I brought to Hawaii. Luckily, I brought a jacket. It's like winter right now in New York, and this thing is just not enough, so I gotta go buy a jacket. So much better. It's dinner time, and I wanna eat at one of the two New York food courts, and I heard there's some new stall, so we're gonna go food exploring. This place looks really promising. First of all, that is what my grandparents used to cook for me when I was a kid, lu mian. These are dried sauteed noodles usually cooked with pork. Absolutely one of my childhood favorites. This place definitely looks really good. They got the lamb noodles, got some crepes. Yeah, I just got approached by security. 
at that food court asking me why I was uh, taking video of other people's property. And I kind of forgot because I'm so used to filming in California and I just got back from Hawaii where everybody's so nice and friendly and people actually want you to promote their business. And I kind of forgot I was back in New York City where camera paranoia exists. So I'm here at the second food court, New World Mall. This is another place where they don't take kindly to people with a camera. So we're gonna be a little more low key here. This is new. Apparently they serve giant chicken cutlets here and giant sea monsters. The nostalgia got to me. I had to come back to that first place I stopped at and I got some dried stir fry noodles. I got some pork and chive dumplings. I got a vegetable crepe wrap and I got a pork sandwich. The owner asked me if I was eating three people. I'm really excited about this. This is something uh, my grandparents used to make for me. And let's just go ahead and add some hot sauce. This hot chili is something he fries and he says it's really awesome. So can't wait to try this. takes me back. The reason they're so awesome is that it kind of tastes like really thin stir-fried ramen. It's not too oily and when you combine this with some pork belly and some green beans, in a Chinese word, it's shung. It's really, really aromatic and just and this, like I said, really brings me back to my childhood. The vegetable crepe wrap, which is a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, this is a handmade crepe and just vegetables inside. It looks like stir-fried potatoes, uh, seaweed, uh, fungus. It's in here too. Oh, this is awesome. This is the Rou Jia Mo uh, Chinese burger. The pork version. I've never seen the pork version with uh, green chili peppers in here before. But it looks like really fatty pork. Their pork burger here is one of the best ones I've had in New York. Although, I wish the bun was a little bit crunchy on the outside. Really, really, really like this new place. So I'll put that information for you guys in my description box. Come check it out, let me know how you like it. I'm definitely coming back to this place. This is very nostalgic for me. My favorite part about flying out of LaGuardia is coming to the American Express and Touring Lounge because this lounge definitely has the best food of all the lounges I've ever been to. And today I'm especially lucky because I'm here around 10, 30, 11 o'clock and this is when they're gonna transition from breakfast to lunch. So I got here for breakfast and I'm staying for lunch. And for breakfast they got the awesome spinach egg benedict with sriracha and holiday sauce. Also the frittata with wild mushrooms. That is so eggy and cheesy and delicious. Like I said, no comparison, American Express and Touring of all the lounges I've ever been to, including all the first class lounges. These lounges, hands down, serve the best food. It tastes just like something you'll get at a nice breakfast cafe. Actually, I'll be back in New York again next week because uh, my Invisalign is done, it's over. So um, I'm gonna get my attachments removed and I'll give you guys a summary of the whole Invisalign process. And of course, I'll be back to eat some awesome food and this time with no restrictions. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go catch a plane and finally go home. I, I can't wait for that. For me, traveling, although it's fun, it's when it's too long, it just gets too much for me. I'm gonna go see you guys on the other side. Thanks for watching, see you.